Welcome to AT&T Technical Tips. Is your networking equipment experiencing power issues? In this video, I'll talk about isolating troubles to the environment, the device itself, or the power source you're plugging it into. First, I'd like to mention how environmental conditions can affect your equipment. Electronics can become damaged and they may begin to power cycle if they're exposed to humidity and chemical or corrosive vapors. The devices can also power cycle if they aren't kept cool. These adverse conditions could affect one or multiple devices. If your equipment room is not environmentally controlled, please contact your building maintenance team to address this. Next, let's talk about the networking equipment on your site. If you have become aware of power cycling that is isolated to just one device, you may want to troubleshoot by starting with the power cable. Inspect it for damage and check that it firmly plugs into the electrical outlet and your equipment. You should be able to wiggle the cable ends without causing a power cycle. Equipment power switches should flip smoothly between the off and on position just like a light switch. Please make sure the power switch is clicked into the on position. Does your device have an internal fan? If so, it must operate properly to prevent it from overheating. Often when these fans fail, they make erratic noise or stop spinning. You may be able to exchange the cable for another one without assistance, but your equipment vendor can address any switch or fan troubles you detect. They may also have access to your system temperature or fan alarms if they can remotely log into your equipment. I hope this information was helpful for you. Thank you for choosing AT&T.